gonna just go onward and upward and make lots of money and be blessed and happy and joyful and i'll see you guys on the next video peace h time <laughs>
it's like almost watching like a boxing match because you know boxers like story and stuff before they're about to fight which people enjoy watching that but i will say i started watching my cat got the zoomies y'all snoop dogg he gonna keep running it's fine but the situation with smiley i think is crazy it's i would i don't even know how to process it to know that you had a, a b you know what i'm saying lost your child and then you have to fight people for like it seemed like she fought him for like two days if i'm not mistaken they riding on private jet she not going which i guess she took her chain and they trying to do gangster stuff but y'all are beautiful girls bro like all every single one of them is beautiful in their own way like to me i just feel like they don't have to do any of that like they're too pretty to fight like you you could be so pretty you don't have to fight all the way down to like um Biggie and Rowley, I feel like they're all gorgeous women and I just want to see them make a lot of money and like show me how to make the money y'all are making. Show me how to do that without without fighting. Like I had to fight probably like two times in my entire life in school, but I was taught to fight after the first big fight I had. And even when you win, bro, you never feel good about that. But the fact that like People are saying like, oh, stand on that and stuff. It's like, y'all are females. Y'all don't got to prove nothing to none of us that you can fight, bro, like, at all. Like, <sighs> that's just how I feel about it. And then the fact that she had an AB on top of all of that, and she's, like, holding her stomach crying. If she lied to tell the truth, let God take care of her. Like, that's not for you to decide to do or whatever. Now, as far as the chain snatching the talking online i can't relate so she lost me right there but i think after someone loses a child it's not really on us to decide how much worse off their life should be her life is rough because she just lost a child she's not worried about nothing else right now i don't think um, and if she did it, that's her. That's for her to look in the mirror at herself and deal with that. But this is how I feel about it. Now, Real Housewives of Potomac. Bro, I love watching that show almost as much as I love real, watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. These ladies do make money. They, they do fight on there, which they do on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but... I'm trying to see how to get out of going up to people and selling my music on foot. So I watch them. One, to stay motivated. Two, to see rich black women. And three, to see them start these businesses and how they get them started. Um, they have launch parties. Um, I had one housewife I paid attention to a lot from Beverly Hills because those are the real, real well-off was right there. She said she was very detail-oriented. And once she said that, I started paying more attention to the details of my life and what I'm doing, how I'm handling my, my stuff, my business, my events, whatever. And it helped a lot. I, I definitely feel like there are more details I need to pay attention to, more things I, I should be learning, but... It was pretty cool. Lord, something just came out of my account for what? I ain't bought nothing. Lord. Anyway. Ooh. Um, Married to Medicine. That show. I do watch that show now, too. They fight way more on there. The person I noticed that stands out to me the most it was Dr. Heavenly. And it's not in a good way. Her voice is really annoying. <laughs> like she talks in like a real high pitched voice. She seems very fake. I don't know her, but she always talks in this high pitched voice after she did something crazy to somebody else. I had a friend like that. And, um, uh, I'll just say I keep my distance now. 
<laughs> so, let me tell you a little bit of what happened with that show. The There's a woman on there who was on the show a lot, and she was friends with all the women on the show. She was married to a narcissist. He and her got a divorce, long story short. He made it hell. She distanced herself, and she distanced herself from her friends, rightfully so, because they were connected to him. Sometimes people have to heal in their own ways. The friends kind of bully her. And so they bring Phaedra onto the show. Phaedra, on the other show, was mad causing problems, mad, like, just messy and hiding her hands it seemed like this time it seems about the same i'm not gonna lie um um i actually met cynthia at um in la it was like my first time going out with like a, a homegirl of mine because usually i was used to going out to uh work or to to get to work i worked at uh sax at that time i believe sax office in uh costa mesa and a friend of mine that i did a tv show with called friday night lights her name is laurel shout out to laurel she's still acting and she teaches dance and she models she's from dallas texas um and she goes by Mandy. She's a really dope actress. And she came out to visit at the time. She lives there now. But she was coming out to visit. And she was like, let's hang out. So we went to hang out. And Cynthia was like, just at the table. She was married to Peter at the time. She was really sweet. I just was like, I just have to tell you, my favorite housewife. And she was like, thank you. And she was like, do you want a picture? And I was like, no. I just wanted to tell you how awesome you are. I'm not even like that. Child, I look back on that day constantly and I'm like, I should have took a picture with her. She's literally like the closest thing I have to like, she's right in between Naomi Campbell and like my generation. Like it's, she's so beautiful. Her face is so perfect and like chiseled to me with the cheekbones. Oh my God, she was so sweet and pretty and she just seemed super nice and real, like a really good friend. Still to this day, but, and I don't know her at all. I met her that one time, but yeah. So, anyway, going back to the the, the married to medicine. So, Phaedra ends up inviting the ex-wife to the real bride's um, bridal shower. If somebody did that to me, I would have to have an all new bridal shower or all new bachelorette party or something because that don't count like they spent a lot of bread on their wedding and she got a call right when it happened that they had to spend an extra 14k in my head i probably would have had a similar reaction only because like dang i'm already thinking in my head i want to redo this and then I got to come up with a check, so I got to talk to Big Daddy again and, like, get the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, crazy. So, um, I wish them the happiness forever. They look cute. They look happy. They look like she didn't let them face her or play with her. I do. She is a Texas woman because we got a problem with you. A real one. Not the little fake. So, then Bella, like, oh, Hi, and they don't like you how I am too. She saw her, she came to her uh wedding, and she was just like, um, I have a problem with you, but we're gonna talk about it later because I'm whole getting married right now. But you have a blessed one, and they, you know, polite and walked out. Oh, and she ah, all in that high pitched voice, child, not a texting baby. I don't know what you got going on. We don't do that fake stuff. Like, if you, I mean, if you fake, you fake. Like, I, I've noticed this fakeness all around the world. But here, the people I choose to be around, the people, they like that. They, uh, I have a problem. We'll talk about it later. Like, this isn't the time or place or whatever. So, I do like that about her. Um, 
and I just I hope they can stay together I did see the preview and it did look like they was kind of getting into it or whatever for like the next few episodes but I hope it's just something small and because to marry somebody is like a really big deal I wouldn't wish badness on anybody getting married ever when you do that you're not planning on separating uh okay Garcelle Bobo I think I said her name right I hope I said her name right um but I know her first name is Garcelle she is so beautiful to me always has been since Jamie Foxx show she modeled too gorgeous tall and I love her nose only because like I have a similar nose to hers and I feel like as a little girl seeing that on TV, somebody that dang near had my same exact nose and that was a feature I was insecure about. She's gorgeous and yeah, fancy, fancy pants. She was in a movie. I watched the movie already, but she had a premiere party on the Housewives show. Super cute. And I was inspired and she was a producer for it. So she started her own production company. That's expensive. Very admirable. Love watching her go on these vacation trips and buying these expensive bags with her own braid. Like so cute, so cool. I wanna be like you, ma'am. Um, we have two things left. So one of them is something quick. Houston, they have a healthcare thing going on right now. I signed up for it because I'm an artist and if I do get health care when I whenever I have gotten it in the past I had to pay out my own pocket so it's clutch to know that you can have your own health care without all the headache and they'll take care of it and pay for it for you for right now I have a woman's information who can provide that for you so I'm gonna put her information in the description below I believe it's still I am an artist. I'm a full-time musician. We make half a penny on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Tidal, YouTube, and all other platforms that stream or play our music that is already in streaming services. So if you truly want to support me or your local artists, go to a show, visit my website, thedesiree.com. You can go to a show there. I have tickets, I have merch, I have vegan lipstick, lip gloss, Christian waist beads, uh, clothing, merch. I have on my pants. I actually designed them myself. These will be on the site tomorrow. I have to take photos in them. Um, and then I will have it available for all sizes. Um, and then we do do custom beads as well. You can DM the Desiree McKinney or follow these team or i'm sorry follow these brand on instagram to get your custom uh christian waist beads i have merch that comes directly from africa and i believe that's everything but i'm constantly adding new items to the site oh pet items i have like collars leashes these really cool backpacks available so yeah Thanks for watching and yeah, we're going to leave the toxicity in 2003. We're going to leave the drama in 2003. We're going to leave fake friends and family in 2003. And we're going to just go onward and upward and make lots of money and be blessed and happy and joyful. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. H time. <laughs>